What is going on, guys? Grave here. Today we're talking about the Groza Assault Rifle. Kind of give you some class setups for it. This is one of the new assault rifles that was added with Season 1. Now, when it comes to this weapon, as you can see, I did get it diamond. does not look good out here on the wall for some reason. It looks better in-game, but I'm not really a big fan of the look of the diamond on this weapon compared to the other assault rifles. I did finish this last week before I got sick, so the week before Christmas, I did get this diamond. I was really excited about that. Let's go ahead and hop into the class setup. This is the one that I have been using the most as of... You know, kind of this gun coming out using the gunfighter wild card, pretty much the same as always. Forward intel, scavenger, and ghost. You can swap these up depending on what mode you're playing. Stem shot, semtex, fill mic, shotgun, backup, uh, kind of for my secondary. And when it comes to the attachments themselves, micro flex LED, whatever red dot that you're comfortable with. I go with the muzzle brake. It only has 4% vertical recoil control, but no cons. You can go with the KGB eliminator. There is nothing wrong with this. The cons, of course, are shooting move speed and horizontal recoil control, but you do get that 17% vertical recoil control and that muzzle con uh, flash concealment. Personally, lately, I've just been running around with the muzzle brake and doing fine with it. Uh, we'll get down to get uh, kind of getting the grip on. It'll help out as well. But overall, I kind of like having attachments. It's kind of started to be a thing, in my opinion, for me to have try to get the most attachments on my weapon that have no cons. Uh, compared to, you know, good pros and some bad cons or, you know, whatever the case may be. Uh, when it comes to the barrel, I'm using the VDV Reinforced. Now, you can use the GRU Composite. This is kind of a specific barrel to this gun only. There's no other gun in the uh, game that has a barrel that gives you no cons but 25% damage range and bullet velocity. Pretty much the same as a VDV Reinforced, but just a smaller percentage. So you can try it out. I've been kind of swapping up back and forth depending on the map. Larger maps, you might want to use something with more, uh, you know, effective damage range or bullet velocity. Uh, with this one, you can use it on a smaller map. I always try to get, get my guns uh, to a 900 millisecond bullet velocity. It seems like the hit registration is a lot better. You don't get a lot of those ghost bullets. You don't feel like, you're, you know, you're kind of behind. It's just the way the bullet velocity is in game. It's not really that the game is behind. It's just the bullet velocity is different than any other Call of Duty we've had in the past. So I'll try to get everything around 900. So you can see with the VDV reinforced, it's around 910. Without it, it's around 812. Now, when it comes to the body, I'm using the Tiger Team Spotlight. You can use anything you want here. Uh, just kind of personal preference on that one. Uh, when it comes to the underbarrel, of course, the Spezinaz Grip, which is going to give me 6% vertical recoil control and 20% horizontal recoil control. And as you can see, like I said, kind of uh, paired with this muzzle brake, you know, that extra 4%, you got a pretty good bit of vertical recoil control. Uh, and a, a lot of horizontal recoil control, and you definitely need it with this weapon. It is the fastest, or the second fastest killing gun in the game. And the only thing that kills faster than this is the AK-47. But the difference between this gun and the AK-47, not only does this gun kind of go up left and right, it goes up and left and right hard. So the side to side, the horizontal recoil in this gun is really, really hard to control because you cannot really control horizontal recoil in a Call of Duty game. The only way you can do that is by slapping attachments on that will actually calm that horizontal recoil down. So just be aware, the one downside of this gun is the recoil. It is going to get you killed sometimes. Sometimes you're going to have that odd bullet or two that's going to go left or right that shouldn't, uh, you know, with or wouldn't with normal guns. So just be aware of that. When it comes to the magazine, I'm using the 50-round fast mag. I only use this in pubs. If you're playing something like uh, game battles or something, you know, you might want to go with the 40-round drum or the tape mags, something that's not going to slow your ADS speed down. And, of course, last but not least, or for the final two attachments, I'm sure most of you know what this is going to be, the Gru Elastic Wrap and the KGB Pad. Now, a lot of people have been kind of going away from this because of that negative 30% hip fire accuracy. I don't really hip fire a lot in this game compared to other Call of Duties. You may want to go with something like the uh, PKM stock, which is going to give you shooting move speed and aim walking move speed. Uh, a lot of people may want to go with something just like the, Q, uh, the CQB pad, which is going to be sprint to fire time with a less, you know, kind of percentage of a con for hip fire. Just kind of whatever you prefer, uh, whatever you need. You could even go with the tactical stock, which has no cons as well. I just kind of been sticking with this last pad because that 30% sprint to fire is absolutely awesome. And like I said, I really don't use uh, many of these weapons from the hip. Now, the second class I'm going to use is going to be my suppressed class. And this is not a bad class, but at the same time, this gun feels a bit off with a suppressor at the same time. Now, most people are going to say, you know, you need to have a barrel on this. And yes, I agree. You're going to need to have a barrel because you're going to see the bullet velocity, uh, you know, with a suppressor is 552. But the thing I don't like is some people like the iron sights and I'm just, I'm personally not a fan of the iron sights. So what you can do, of course, if you like the iron sights, is drop the sight, of course, uh, there, and then put something like this on. 
uh, you're going to see you're going to get 812 out of the VDV reinforced and, of course, uh, 715 millisecond bullet velocity out of the Gru composite. Uh, I would probably say the VDV reinforced will be your best bet and then kind of have this set up like this with the suppressor, the VDV reinforced, uh, the Speznad speed grip, which is something a little bit different uh, that I'm using with this. This is going to give you sprint move speed and horizontal recoil control. Uh, then we're going to go with the magazine of the 50 round fast mag and then the grew elastic wrap. The only reason I kind of put this speed grip on there was kind of move around the map a little quicker. I know the gun is silenced, so it's not going to have the range. Uh, already has pretty strong recoil. Uh, this is going to help out a little bit with the horizontal recoil. Uh, and of course, I'm playing objective modes. Um, suppressors aren't the greatest in game, personally for me. Some people like suppressors. Some people can get really good luck with suppressor or have really good luck with suppressors. Not me personally. So I like to be able to move around, get a little bit closer to, you know, players, uh, kind of run around, get on the objectives a little bit quicker. So this is why I like the speed grip. You always go with something like the Spaznaz grip if you prefer. But just keep in mind, I prefer to run it without the barrel and just run an optic. And that is another reason that I like that speed grip. That way I can get around the map a lot faster, get to places a lot quicker. Of course, um, like I said, the one downside you're going to have is you're not going to have any bullet velocity pretty much whatsoever uh, without this. So just keep that in mind. Um, you can use the Gru suppressor. I just prefer the normal suppressor because the Gru suppressor, in my opinion, is kind of it's hurting more bullet velocity and damage range, which we don't have anything to make up for on this weapon because we're not using a barrel. So, like I said, guys, just kind of keep that in mind. And overall, this is just kind of a situational class. I only use it here and there. Uh, nine times out of ten, I'm going to use the very first class I showed you here with Gunfighter. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And, of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and, of course, the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.